how to connect a subdomain to Hostinger Website Builder. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can connect a subdomain to your website of Hostinger. So the process is going to be very easy. If you are going to use Hostinger, uh, Hosting or domains or subdomains, it is going to be very easy to integrate them. So if you are going to use another website or another hosting service like Namecheap, GoDaddy, it is also going to be very simple. So we're going to head over and so explain the first method, which is going to be including hosting or hosting. So we're going to head over the website lists and click on here. And then basically we are going to have the domain. So if you do not have a website into a domain or you have a temporary domain, you can go ahead and click on change domain. Then you are going to type in the domain name. Basically, if you have a domain, how you can create a subdomain to it. For example, let's say that I have already a domain, which is going to be this. This is jacksclothing.xyz. So we are going to type in here the name, and then we're going to have, for example, point like here. We are going to have a point of, for example, here we are going to have something like store, maybe the uh, jacksclothing.xyz. So we are going to have it just like that. So you're going to have it right there and then you're going to click on next. So this is a subdomain. So you're going to click on next. So here it is going to have here um, the connection. So added to your site. As you can see, this is the domain that we have added to our site. And you're going to have it just like this. So we have created our web or the subdomain into just a few seconds. This is how we can connect it or create it. So basically you can go ahead and see that we have the domain. It is going to be connected. We're going to update for the website. And normally we're going to have the link. So you can go ahead and click on view site. And this is the new method of having a subdomain created within uh, the Hostinger in just a few seconds. Basically here, uh, this is not um, created properly. So maybe you're going to take some time uh, set or wait for some times in here to load up, but it is going to be okay. So this is the first method. The second method is going to be consistent of having the DNS. Let's say that it is not going to be a Hostinger domain or subdomain. How we can connect it? We are going to head over the domains click on domain portfolio and from here you're going to have the website or the subdomain added so you are going to click on get a new domain you need to subscribe the domain that you have added for example store uh, like this i'm going to have it in here so you can go ahead and delete that point and we are going to click on check so if you have it already and you need only to approve the ownership of that specific website you're going to have it in here and then you're going to edit the dns of that specific uh, name server that you have you need to add a c name here you are going to put here for example store and the target is going to be having something right there so basically it is going to have some conflicts in here because we have added some uh, c names in here uh, you need only to delete all of these because it is going to be confusing them. Uh, the data in here, you can go ahead and add something else uh, in the place of this. But I highly recommend for you to create a subdomain directly uh, from Hostinger and then you need only to connect it. Basically, that was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and I hope to see you soon on the next one.